matron take them away. Oh. And a warm welcome to Morning Watch with me, the Scruff, on this fine day, 15th of January. So what we're going to do today, well, we're going to have a quick look at the economic news and then we're going to have a look at the strengths of the market to see which is strongest, weakest and hopefully pick a little bit of a watch list for you. So if that sounds good, hit the subscribe button. Now these videos are done on a reward basis. I'm looking for 100 likes to keep it public. If not, it stays behind closed doors in the Discord. So let's flick into this and we'll crack on. So just flick this over. And we'll switch the economic news on first so we can see what's been going on. Now, through the night, there wasn't a great deal, as you can see. It was quite low impact, uh, which is not unusual for a Sunday night. But as we move into this morning, you want to be keeping an eye on the DAX and Euro dollar. Because between 9 and 10.30, there is some quite high impact news coming in at 9 o'clock. Uh, and that's the German growth. Now, from there, that will ripple through into the euro markets right across the morning. Now, once you get through mid-morning, it will calm down a little bit. There's nothing then kicking off right the way through again till the afternoon. And that news that you've just been watching is then going to ripple through again. Now, it might be low impact at 2 o'clock, but it'll be enough to keep the momentum of the market moving. And then again, there is nothing left till we have the Aussie news later on tonight. And that'll come in sort of half past 11 uh, as it's opening up. So not a great deal of news today. Nothing overly heavy to worry about. But it just means that if you are Euro trader, so you're looking at sort of the CAC 40, French 40, uh, or the DAX, they can move around nine o'clock this morning and of course the euro pet now from here i make a strength sheet every day for the scruffs and i make it for myself it's something that i use every single day to help me now what does it do it defines the strongest and weakest currencies of the market there are plenty of websites where you can see that but i prefer to do it myself now the biggest change is the US market. It is bounced to the top of the tree from pretty much the bottom. Uh, and it's moved six points up across the weekend. And the CAD has dropped, it's dropped five points. So the US market is the one to watch for me today. Now also because of that, there's no news in it. So it's technically driven. So if I'm looking at it, there's no real sort of trend that i can see in the high time frames but the dominant time frame and the lower time frames are both telling me to buy so i'll be keeping a close eye and i'll only really be looking to buy this thing now when i look down here it'll tell me what the atr is and an expected target that's relatively safe and it's 10 pip it's 11 pips so we're looking for like 11 pip gain off it and just to give you a quick overview of how i might look at that because there's many ways to look at it. Just drop this out to a four hour. You can see it's on a steady inc uh, incline, <laughs> a steady incline up to the higher movement. Now, if this is, it's been off the pullback and it's now moving up and we're looking for around, what did I say, 11 pips? Let's just drop that in. Uh, it doesn't have far to go so in and around so the tops of here is a keen target area to keep half an eye on so if i drop it back into the hour where i look at my trades all i would need to do is just put in some entry exits that can fit so there there's my fib line put that into place and then just drop in some key areas of attraction which are here very simple 
and because I've already established that this is going to be a buy and that comes from multi time frame analysis I can then just drop these in and these are the targets that I'm working to so I can buy and sell on every single one of these so I can buy this get out here buy this get out up there any of them and that's all I'll do I'll just work them as a framework target to around 10 11 pips simple stuff guys and then entry wise just drop it down and again you can go right these are my sort of key target areas I can you do a similar process off this move here because it's in motion or even that one there it probably would be that one actually um, because that is tightening the range it's encompassing this put some extra levels in there and it would tighten up these buying areas so I can just buy and get into the market very very simple way of doing stuff guys kept it very quick and punchy today again remember the target is 100 likes um, it just motivates me to do more and shows that my time is worth it so as always guys trade well get risk managed but above all do what you love and the money will follow see you on the next one